So your Q is about C sharp and its diverse range of features. Well, there's a whole load more to this language than meets the eye. And the recently introduced record type is definitely one of those things. Now you're probably wondering what's this all about and how is it changing the game for developers? So let's take a deep dive into records in C sharp in today's video. <laughs> C-sharp records are a new type of reference type. Now they've got some cool characteristics that developers are absolutely loving and they're immutable and they provide automatic constructors and destructors. They also use value-based equality comparison. And I know that's a lot to take in, but let's break this down using an example. This example here illustrates how using records can save us from redundant boilerplate and make our programs cleaner. So here we've created a complex data structures with a child object inside this parent object. And then we've created a new instance of that complex data structure using just three lines of code. So as well as allowing us to write less code, we also benefit from the immutability of having these declared as record types instead of classes. Now I've got a whole video on functional programming in C-sharp up here, and that video goes into much more detail about how you use immutable data structures and why you use them for a more functional approach. But suffice to say that these properties will not be allowed to be changed by the C-sharp compiler. And that's generally a good thing when it comes to clean functional programming. Another benefit of the record type is the automatic constructor, which you can see that we've got here, but it also has a deconstructor. So if we wanted to, we could pull out the name and the speed property into a deconstructed tuple like this. The underscore here is for that last driver property, which is basically gonna be discarded because we're not interested in that. And so that's good because it allows us to pull only the variables we want to from that record structure in this one line of code. Another feature that comes along with records is the new with expression. The with expression allows us to do a non-destructive mutation. So it creates a new object using all of the properties of an existing record where it merges in the properties on the right hand side here. So here we're creating a new version of this record with two of the properties set the same, but this last property is gonna be changed to this second record instance. So in traditional class-based object-oriented programming, this like might be the same thing as having like a change driver function inside the object. But here we're doing it using immutable reassigning of objects using records, which is a much more functional approach. And it follows the general paradigm of immutability in functional programming. So that wraps up this deep dive into C-sharp record types. The bottom line here is if you're looking to expand your programming skills and explore new efficient ways of coding and you want to write code in a more functional programming style, then getting to grips with records is definitely worth your time. Don't forget, you can find tons of tutorials and resources right here on YouTube on the Train to Code YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, then please pop a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, my name's James Charlesworth, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.